Okay guys, good morning. It's an absolutely beautiful morning here on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And um, as I said in my last video, I want to do a review of this uh, Harn Spree timepiece. Let you guys know what I think about it. So let's get into it. And um, yeah, please like, share, comment, and subscribe I would appreciate it um, every like every share every subscription helps my channel grow and I really really appreciate it uh, but let's get into the review of unboxing review of this timepiece here all right I like the box it's kind of a different color um, put some sunlight on it so you guys can see it better in the sunlight and the beautiful sunrise here in the outer banks of North Carolina it's kind of this golden brownish kind of color it's even satiny kind of it's a nice box Mag magnet a metal magnet here um, it's pretty cool anyway enough about the box let's take this off here warranty card information kind of stuff here and just some more information here for the timepiece so there we go like that kind of green sunburst kind of it's a red there and yes yes something a little different here in Atlantic Ocean watch I think for those that watch my channel by now you know I don't like metal bracelets but usually these kind of meshy metal bracelets usually are fine um, so it's an automatic movement there's really nothing really on the back no engraving on the back alright Take off this Addy's Dive timepiece and with this new Rishi strap that I put up on the watch. Uh, I just reviewed this timepiece from Addy's Dive. Just check a couple videos back, you'll find this review. And of course, I just reviewed the strap because the strap that Addy's Dive put on this timepiece was rubbish. Comfortable rubbish, but rubbish. This Rishi strap. Anyway, check review on the watch and then review on the strap. You'll see what I mean. But let's put this on the wrist. This is going to require me to have to think a little bit here because this is a different kind of mechanism. Oh, yeah, I'll have to definitely uh, adjust that. So I can figure this out. That's uh, that's going to be a bit of a. There we go. So a little thing here. You f you flip this little thing back, and now I can move it back. And uh, so this is definitely going to be a little more challenging to figure out or to put on I should say okay let's let's play with this and try to get it on my wrist 
Yep, I'll have to move this a little bit more. So that's one little thing there. This is, def this is a difficult, kind of difficult mechanism to utilize. Which is, if you don't have any fingernails at all, which I don't, it's kind of hard to do it. As you can see, I'm struggling with it. Let me try something real quick. Let me grab a, some keys. And mess with my keys. Take one of my keys. And mess with it. Take one of my Yakima roof rack keys. Mess with it. Let's see what we can do. So I've got it. There we go. So this little thing here, you know, to have to move up, move that. Just that's going to be, I think, problematic for many people because you're going to have to. Really, it's going to take some time to get this adjusted. Um, so I, I, I don't like that um, already. But I'm going to put this right here, kind of guessing, and um, see where this goes. Okay. It might be cooking with gas. Might be. No, we're just a little short because we want to get a little a little bar there to get into this little thing here, you know, over top of that bar so it'll secure. So I've got to move this again. Easy. Okay. Uh oh, are we are we there yet? So I've got, oh, I've got both of the little hooks over in the little bar there. And got it to secure. Well, thought I had it to secure. Is it secure? Oh, yeah, that's gonna, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Because this is not very secure. This piece here, I can already see myself hitting it and it coming undone. And this thing possibly popping off and falling to the deck. So that's not good. That's not good. So I guess I'm going to have to order a replacement strap for this. Just like I had to order a replacement strap for this Eddie's dive. But... The bezel. There is. Some ever slight back play on the bezel. Let's uh, undo the screw down crown. It is screwed down, which is nice. Let's set the time. Eddie's dive, I got it at almost 10 to 7. So. it to 10 to 7 roughly and it, it, it is hacking which is nice that it's hacking and push in one try and get a date to actuate but I think I'm just screwing a crown down at the moment. Yeah. Okay. In one. Maybe I'm going the wrong way for the date. Am I? I don't know. Alright, I'm trying to move the date. Let me go in one more. Interesting. All right, so I finally got the date to move. It's kind of a strange feeling because once you unscrew the crown, one click it says, but the click is I don't know. It's I don't want to describe it other than saying it's weird. Um, 
but filming this, I know it's the 5th, um, so I'm going to get this to the 5th, and push it in, and screw down crown, so this screw down crown, I'm a little concerned about the strap, though. I'm afraid if I hit something with this strap, it's going to come unbuckled and fall to the deck. Um, I do like the look of the watch, though. Um, and, um, you know, the size is decent. Um, it's like this one here. It's, it's Addy's Dive. It's, I think it's even, I think it's slightly thinner. Um, it's more of a dressier kind of look of a watch. And, again, I, I, you guys know on the channel, I normally don't like um, metal bracelets, but these, um, I guess you'd call them, like, rice beads or beads of rice type ish bracelets um i do like but this mechanism here while it makes it infinitely adjusted adjustable pretty much for most people um this mechanism is probably going to catch on something and release and then you know fall but the nice thing about this is usually with these metal bracelets metal bracelets if it has a, pro a problem there um, you know you'll have a little more reaction time uh, to, to to deal with it but then again you know normal buckles usually don't fail that you know, that much anyway um, let me see I'm gonna probably loosen this up though just a bit though on my wrist because it's slight so I was just in the shower and um no problems um, at all with the timepiece in the shower. So it's good to know uh, it's only five ATM water resistant, but no problem. I know a lot of watches like this they'll tell you, you know, no hot or warm shower, but so far, so good. So this watch is definitely, definitely not that tall, not that thick. As it fits under the cuff of my long sleeve shirt, no problem. So, I'm going to go right under the cuff. I love that color. It's a cool color. It's crazy how so many of these watches, like this one um, and others out there, it, on, on the lower end, have such great colors but sometimes their construction uh, choices and uh, style, you know, little things are so, can be, can be crappy, but yet uh, it's, it's, it's kind of frustrating because they're so close to making, some of these companies are um, so close to making such a wonderful product. Okay, so let's talk about this watch real quick. So over the couple weeks of owning the timepiece, the watch is very, very comfortable. I've had no water ingress problems. Now, I'm not going to show you loom or underwater performance like I like to often do because it's only 5 ATM, as I've already mentioned, and it does fine for hand washing and in the shower and normal rain and stuff like that. No problem at all. Do not go scuba diving with it. And you probably shouldn't go swimming with it for very long, so you don't cause it any problems. The NH35 movement works like a charm. No problem. A tank, bulletproof movement. The loom absolutely sucks. There is some loom, but the hands are not really loomed. It sucks. You can't tell time at night, so don't bother. You might as well carry around a flashlight or use a different watch. Um, don't bother the loom. Uh, sucks the bracelet very comfortable but the clamping mechanism is going to be troublesome for some but overall despite all those things I still will give this timepiece um, three clocks the main reason I'm giving it three clocks is because the way it looks I like the style I like the way that it looks on my wrist and it's very comfortable if it wasn't for the looks it would honestly be two clocks but I'm going to give it three clocks out of five clocks. I recommend that you pick this timepiece 
up if you don't have a lot of money to spend. It cost me about 70 something dollars um, from AliExpress. It is on sale as of doing this voice over um, around the 19th of March 2023 on sale for about $58. But AliExpress has sales, um, you know, different sellers or whatever. So you should be able to find at a cheap price. If you want to see these um, TikTok videos of mine, by the way, and the music I actually added to them, you know, go to my TikTok, Atlantic Ocean Watch. And also, of course, sometimes I post stuff on Instagram and go live on Instagram too. So get the watch. It's a great watch. Three clocks out of five clocks. Pick it up. Nice little dress watch. Reliable anti 35 movement. The loom sucks. The bracelet's a little bit cumbersome, problematic, but it held up fine and stayed on my wrist, which is great compared to the last Addy's dive I just had that had to buy a new strap for. So good job, uh, Parnsbury, for making a great strap, even though it's difficult to put on initially. Once you get it fitted, it will be great. And I don't like metal bracelets, but this one did just fine. Uh, thanks for watching. I've got this one next. Um, another Addy's dive. Hopefully I won't have to replace it. The strap you're going to see here in a little bit. Um, but thanks for watching. Remember I'm also on TikTok and Instagram, same name, um, Atlantic Ocean Watch, uh, where I do watches and other stuff. Like tell you about my kids, especially my nephews. That's pretty much it. Um, go ahead and get it. Um, you'll be happy. Um, I think, based on my experience. If you're not, you know, comment and let the others who watch this video by the comments know what you think about the timepiece so they can get a different perspective from mine. So they can get a broad idea of whether or not this is something that they'll want to invest their money into owning. Thanks for watching. Take care.